Reperitoneal repair of epigastric hernia. In the port position as shown here, after triangulating the area of hernia, the peritoneal flap is raised. In this area, we have the falciform ligament and the fat pad in falciform ligament, which has to be brought down along with the peritoneal flap. So, this acts as a guide and you can appreciate the epigastric hernia coming into picture. So, it is slowly released. I am using RB bisect in this case which allows a bloodless dissection. You can appreciate all the herniated epigastric fat being brought down. So, once we have adequately dissected, a large pocket is ready. Now, the defect is closed again with a VLOC suture in a continuous fashion. So, once the defect is closed, the entire dissected area is measured. And then in this case again we have put a 15 into 12 centimeter mesh to cover the hernia defect. So, we can appreciate that in this location because of the presence of falciform fat pad the preperitoneal dissection is little bit easier than uh, dissection in the paraumbilical or umbilical area. Similarly, in the suprapubic area also, because of presence of suprapubic fat pad, the dissection is little bit easier. Now, finally, we reapproximate the peritoneum and the mesh was fixed at multiple places. And finally, the peritoneum is reapproximated with a 2O VLOC suture. Thank you.